Wow. I can't believe it. The final episode of Breaking Bad. I am 22 Tiger Dude. I am in my Heisenberg look. I hope you enjoy it. I'm here to review the series finale of Breaking Bad. And I am going to say some spoilers here. So if you guys haven't seen the final episode, I suggest you go watch it and then come back here to watch this review. So if you guys saw my TV show review for Breaking Bad, you know that I love the show. I'll leave a link to my Breaking Bad TV show review in the description box below if you guys want to check it out. Breaking Bad was a show where right away I was already hooked on it. And that's saying something since I'm not much of a crime drama guy when it comes to the television entertainment. This series finale, it's so perfect. You saw how much bad shit was going down throughout the whole season. Well, throughout the whole show there was a lot of bad shit, but... The, uh, the shit was getting worse and worse as the show was just going on. The death of Hank a couple of episodes before the series finale, that was just depressing. But at least Hank's death, it was meaningful and Hank wasn't afraid to die and he was basically ready. And I respected the guy for that. It is sad to see him go because Hank was one of my favorite characters of Breaking Bad. But we see Walt come home and... He's pretty much saying goodbye before he dies because it was his 52nd birthday and that was his final day to live. When Walt came over to Gretchen Elliott's house, oh my god, that was such a very dark, very intense scene. Just the way Walt was interacting with them. When you saw those red beams pointing at Gretchen and Elliot. You're all like, holy shit, they're gonna die. But then while he decides not to let them die, and he makes them promise that he's gonna give the money to his family and to Walt Jr. to use the money to pay for his education in college. And I also loved how Skinny Pete and Badger appeared one final time. And I liked the way how they actually used laser pointers because the laser pointers, when they were pointing at Gretchen Elliot, they were to believe that they were like snipers. That was actually a very good trick and I was actually really impressed by that. I also love how in this episode, Walt goes to Skylar. First of all, that scene when uh, Skylar is interacting with Mary and uh, Mary's talking to Skylar about the ricin and all that stuff. Once Skylar gets off that call and the camera just moves uh with a Walt standing there. I just thought that was so clever. Walt being honest with Skylar was just amazing. I loved how he actually admitted because throughout the whole series he was saying that he was doing it for the family but really Walt actually admitted that he did it for himself. And that's what I thought made the character so strong. It's just incredible what the show has done. The writing of the show is just so brilliant. How much Walt, the, the character, has really changed. I'm just really impressed how the show just progressed. And that scene where Walt saw his baby daughter for the final time before he left, I thought that was a very sad scene because knowing that little baby Holly wasn't going to see her father when she gets older. And when I think about that, that actually depresses me. It's sad that he's not gonna see her grow up, but at least he got to see, you know, his little baby girl. And then from there, Walt leaves, and Walt Jr. comes home from school. Of course, Walt Jr. was really mad at Walt, so there was no way of saying goodbye. And even if Walt did wanna go to Walt Jr. and say goodbye to him, he couldn't because there were police just surrounding him. And Walt, his last time seeing Walt Jr. was just by looking through the windows. But still, it's uh, Walt Jr.'s father and I would have loved to see them say a proper goodbye. So, I actually did feel very sad inside. Walt goes to Uncle Jack, Todd, and the Nazis. He puts in this little gadget, his car with the gun, you know, his scientific contraptions. And I just thought that was very clever. And holy shit. When that gun from the trunk was just shooting and shooting all over the house with everyone dead except for Uncle Jack, Todd, Jesse, and Walt. 
I thought that was awesome. I was actually getting happy inside just seeing that. Oh my gosh, that was one of the most badass shootout scenes I've ever seen. That was just what I call pure awesomeness. The show just seems to impress you more and more. We've got Jesse finally giving Todd what he deserved because Todd has been torturing Jesse and he's been giving him a lot of pain. So Jesse finally gave Todd what he deserved by choking that son of a bitch to death with the chain and I thought that was so awesome. Also, Walt shooting Uncle Jack and the way the blood just splattered around the screen, I just thought that was fucking brilliant. I loved that. Everything about this show was just so incredible. And then we go into Walt and Jesse. They don't speak words with each other, they just give each other the looks. Jesse going his separate ways. The final time we see Jesse is him going inside that car, speeding through, breaking through the gates, and the guy is just so freaking happy. It's freedom for him. So it looks like Jesse's going to start a new life, and it looks like the that part is going to tie in to Need for Speed. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Imagine if that part actually tied into Need for Speed. I, w I would buy into that. Still, that was cool to see Jesse be happy. Walt, we see him go into the meth lab. Just He saw the mask one more time. And then he saw that the police was coming. You see blood prints. The guy falls down. And Walt dies. And we all knew that Walt slash Heisenberg was going to die. So I thought that was really cool and really brilliant for the show to do that. It just gave... Everything that you really need in the show. If I do have to bring a nitpick, just a nitpick, not a problem. My only nitpick with the series finale is that I wish they would show what happened after Walt died. Like how life is going without Walt, everything with Skyler, Walt Jr. and Holly, the things going on with Mary, what happened between Jesse and Brock. I kind of felt like the series left a little plot hole. Because you never really got to see Brock and Eva when his mom got shot. They didn't really show the kid. I wish they showed Brock at least one last time because it felt needed. And it kind of left a bit of a little plot hole there. I think that would have been nice to see after that scene Walt died. But overall, I am very satisfied with Breaking Bad. I am sad the show's over. But I'm mostly happy it's done. Because I don't want the series to overstretch. Thank you, Vince Gilligan. You are brilliant, man. You are so talented. Please, dude, I really hope you will write and direct films. I would love to see you go into the movie-making business. Brian Cranston, you're amazing. Aaron Paul, Bob Odenkirk, Anna Gunn, Betsy Brent, Dean Norris, RJ Mitty, and everyone that was involved in the show while you were on screen in the show or just have something to do with the cameras of the show, the creative consultant, the writing, whatever part of job you have for Breaking Bad, great job. Thanks for creating such a great crime drama show. I'm giving the series finale of Breaking Bad a 10 out of 10. And of course, the show is a 10 out of 10 as well, but the series finale, just how it tied it all together, the satisfaction, what us fans of the show expected, I just thought it went out with the bang. So, I loved it. So long, Breaking Bad, and long live Heisenberg, bitch. I am 22 Tiger Dude. You're goddamn right. I will always have... Tiger Power!